All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next deck here during our 12-hour Saturday stream, which is going to be Grixis Discard. Uh, Mushy, the everything from Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Corset 2019. Every single card in those four sets are all rotating out in the fall. Rotation happens once a year. It keeps standard fresh, uh, keeps standard small. Standard always varies between five and eight sets. So all of those cards won't be legal anymore. <clears throat> yeah, a good portion of this is going to rotate, yeah. Um, so it'll be like at the end of September is when that happens. And that, that happens every year. Uh, then the next year you, you'll have Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance in the fall of 2020 plus War of the Spark plus Corset 2020. Those will all rotate out then. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so if you're watching this here later on YouTube, you've probably seen this this deck before. Uh, this is my one of my very favorite decks to play, probably the most successful deck that I have, uh, and it's just the games are a lot of fun. Talked about the deck a, whole, a ton in all the other videos and everything, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get to the games, and uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so yeah, we're a, a, a very hard control deck. We want the game to go as long as possible. Um, and trying to reduce the opponent's resources. <clears throat> hey, Mushy's getting that that sub. Getting a tier 2 sub. Mushy, you get the foil cheers emote also from the gifter. That is awesome. Much help you get to use your emotes. Hope you enjoy them. You got 22 new emotes now. All right, definitely keeping turn two as Kanta. And Bolus is nice. Grixis Phoenix. So probably just, is it Phoenix? This is a matchup that can be tough for us. You know, Phoenix is just a recursive card and everything. It can certainly be tough. So I don't want this land. Do I want Thought Erasure? So, you know, my plan next turn is probably to play Bolus, but they're, you know, they have a lot of Lava Coils, so like maybe I want a Thought Erasure before I Bolus. Yeah, I think I'd take Thought Erasure. Even taking something like, you know, Crackling Drake, that kind of stuff. Like, that's just a nice, clean answer there. Ooh, I like that. That compare with the Thought Erasure. Let's go with this first. Yeah. Make it difficult for them to cast all these spells in a row. Wow. Dubs Lava Coil, Dubs Shock. Man, three pair. So, an option here is for me to just take the shocks. Yeah, I'm going to just take shock. Basically make it harder for this phoenix to come back. I know lava coil gets rid of bolus. Yeah, I mean, contempt's just great in this matchup. So basically, I'm saying that I'm not going to like really play my bolus. I guess I'll just play the bolus. Make some discard in another card. We can 
and take the lava coil, take their turn next turn. I do like taking the shock though. It's basically four mana discard too, right? Like they discard the shock plus use their coil plus, you know, spend two mana this next turn. So they're not using their mana like ra radical ideaing or anything else like that. So it's basically, you know, mind rot. Takes two cards. Hmm. We're going to hopefully have Ascanta take over this game for us. What am I doing over here? Six. We'll go graveyard, make that seven, flip this Ascanta. I'm going to activate here because we could find... Find Thought Erasure. Yeah. Man, Angrath is good, though. I should probably be taking the Angrath. Honestly. I'm keeping the land on top. With having Ascanta, I actually just want to draw lands because then Ascanta will give me a spell, and I want to be able to activate Ascanta plus cast spells. So I actually want, like, drawing lands is actually just all I want to be doing. All right, so if they find a red source, they get to play that, shock me, and get Phoenix back. But we'll just contempt the Phoenix. Which means I do not get to activate Ascanta this turn, but that's okay. We can take a turn off of activating it. Phoenixes. We've gone through three Drakes. One Phoenix is exiled. Alright, campaign's perfect. No. Don't tap like that. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just play this bolus and make them discard the other card. Oh, it was a Ral? Whew! I like making them discard that Ral. No, my bacon bolt. Not to bacon bolt. Ooh. Hmm. They do get to bacon bolt that. So coil's a good answer to Phoenix if they top deck a Phoenix. Alright, so I know that's that's kind of a waste of a coil because it's not on a Phoenix, but and I know I could I could minus Angrath no fire, and take no it and make steam. them sacrifice it, but then the problem is if I if I do that, if I minus the Angrath, then 
they draw a phoenix or a shock, no fire, and my Angrath's no dead, steel. and I, I don't really want my Angrath to be dead. Right, I want to land. There we go. So I'm kind of waiting for this bolus before I can play it and flip it. We need two more lands now. One more land now. No fire, no steel. Yeah, Angrath's ultimate would win. They're at 26 cards in the graveyard. This is getting real choppy. No steel. I really need a need to move and get better internet. Come on. All right, Angrath I'll ultimate standing before I live. kills our opponent. So we get these Cry of the Carnariums in here, Cutting Ritual of Soot. Um, I do like Moment also, and then I think I want a Rowl. Yeah, let's get a Rowl in here too. We can we can definitely mill ourselves out. Do need to be worried about milling ourselves out. Angrath isn't as good against this version because there's not, like, the minus isn't as good. Yeah, they can bring in Niv. I don't have, like, anything else to deal with Niv besides these Contempts and Bedevils and everything like that. But yeah, Niv, Niv is, like, the scariest card. Now, nah, Disinformation's good. Uh, yeah, we have three hours left for streaming now. It's hard to have the negates actually hit their card draw, though. It's a difficult, it's a difficult plan to actually, um, to have work. Because I'm, you know, usually tapping out and stuff, and... They have negate disdainful stroke. We can take negate here, take disdainful stroke next turn. Keep the second bolus, because the first bolus is probably gonna die. Bolus is just a good card. The well so, negate is, is okay post sideboard here. Wow. That was great for them. The reason why negate's good is because... Ooh, that card's good. Is because they bring in their counter spells. So, like, you know, like they have their negate and disdainful strokes, and sometimes you need to protect your, you need to protect your spells. So, using negate to counter their counter magic is why it can be good post sideboard.
All right, Bay, try to keep keep the chat English, please. Yeah, uh, this was what I would take, Pyro. I would take this deck to a paper tournament right now. Hope they didn't find a negate out of those cards there. Oh, Spell Pierce. Probably should have just played the Bolas. I guess I could have to play around Spell Pierce. Goblin Electromancer is a good card. It didn't look so bad whenever we thought erasured on them on turn two, and then suddenly we were dead. Yeah, I'm gonna cut one Angrath for another Duress. Actually, I do like Duress of like you know trying to take their negate spell Pierce, dis disdainful stroke, that kind of stuff, help our spell resolve. And Duress just does that cheaper than Negate. Alright, this is a Keeper. It's not my favorite hand, and I definitely did not like drawing another Discovery. I don't like just casting Discoveries all the time here. Yeah, this is a really nice Swamp. I agree. So I think it's either Ral or Drake. I don't think I really mind that they have Negate. I think I'm gonna take Ral. Does Drake cost double double red? This campaign will just trade with the negate. They may just let me play it and have them discard their Phoenix, though. They're at one spell right now. Draw on the red source. Let's get Bolas in, out there. are both good cards. <clears throat> this is like where finding a Planeswalker for us would be nice because they're going to presumably beacon both this Bolas. Alright, so now they need a, a land and a one mana spell to get Phoenix back. Okay. Yeah, 
These are good. I don't know, maybe I'm not supposed to keep the Thought Erasure. Because I have Duress. Hey, Flip. Um, Modern... I'm not, like, real excited about Modern Horizons or anything. It's just kind of there. Yeah, I probably should have ditched this Thought Erasure. Whoa. They had Niv. So, um, hmm. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been surprised if they radical idea that a way to just try to hit a land, but I guess you know they want to be able to do the three spells in a row to get Phoenix back. But yeah, I just I'm a standard streamer right now, so Modern Horizons isn't anything I'm really concerned with. It's not for me. Alright, at least we got rid of both their nibs. So I don't think they'd have a third nib. So both nibs gone. That's that's a good sign. Good, and just one Phoenix. So I have Coil for Phoenix, Moment of Craving. Like this is just a, a good turn. Get to a triple spell here. And Moment this thing. I do want land with Ascanta. So I'm only at four cards in hand. Activating Ascanta. All right, only have four four extra land. Like if I activate Ascanta, I only have four extra lands. So uh, point is, I can't cast a Planeswalker while activating Ascanta. Walker, nice. And Angrath's gonna take over. No fire, no steel. Two mana away from being able to play Bolas and flip Bolas immediately. Um. No fire. We'll see if we find route. No steel. No route. Let's take this lava coil, and I'll go campaign. Let's see, if we draw a land. Not a land. Discovery, look for land. I'll keep both of those. They're drawing their one card while I have a full grip. <laughs> and an Ascan to go in an Angrath. Alright, one to know. With Grix's discard. Starting off with a win. Uh, if I'm not investing a hundred bucks instantly on this game, will I still be able to create a playable deck? Like maybe not. I mean, well, not like instantly. You're not going to be able to make like one of the best decks in the format. Yeah, like, Model Blue is probably the easiest thing to build. And you can build it pretty quickly. Do you, like, what rares do you play in, in Mono Blue? 
Terramander is not a rare, right? Because now they don't they don't have Warheim Marauder. Does does Mono Blue have any rares? Daredevil is okay with this deck for other blue black matches, but I've just kind of found that I don't need it. Tempest Gin, that's the one. So you got you got your four Tempest Gins. Yeah, I, I agree, Gustav. I think the rewards are real good in this. this. Uh, in this game here. Tithe Taker, huh? I coil that thing. Let's see what they got. Yeah, Gates is a, is a good way to go, too. So we saw Tithe Taker, Tithe Taker, Wild Growth Walker. I guess I'm playing Cries. Getting rid of Duress. They could also be History Banali, I guess. Hmm. I don't know, maybe one Cry. All right, that's fine. Just take out the Duress for a Cry. Yeah, Mono Red is pretty cheap, but you, you do have a, a good amount of rares with Mono Red. Like, if you're... if you You could have, like, Runaway Steamkin, Goblin Chain Whirler, you know, Experimental Frenzy. You could have a, a lot of rares. There. Uh, Abzan. Definitely kept a slow hand. With all these tap lands, but uh, you know, some of these cards we have, especially as Kanta, was a mulliganing. I am pretty surprised they didn't take as Kanta, but then again, with them being an Abzan deck, they could just be chilling with a Mortify over here for it. In fact, I, I would say that that's likely that they just have Mortify. I'm gonna go ahead and Discovery. It's a good discovery. Get rid of both of those lands. Not let them use that three mana for Mortify. Alright, now we'll play the Escanta. Where, you know, if they want to play Mortify, that takes up their turn kind of thing. Ah, the Night of Autumn. That's worse for me. Uh, I wish I would have just waited. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to start with Discovery and try to draw Disinformation Campaign to play that, and then Thought Erasure to pick it back up next turn. Yeah, let's start with Discovery. Just only killing things. Never not killing things. Mastermind's acquisition. Though I've lost so much already, I'm really acquiring won't over there. More. Not dead yet. Every fight come to me. Playcrafter is a good one. And then Folly. Ugh. 
Let's do this again. Now I would wish I would have just let them have the. I, I guess I should have just discarded the Vivian, let them have the Fine Broker. But no, because the Fine Broker just gets back Vivian. That's why. It, that's why I didn't take Vivian to begin with. Because if I just took Vivian, then they would just play the Fine Broker the next turn and just grab the Vivian right back. All right. I'll discard the Lava Coil. That's fine with me. All right, they're getting any card out of their library. Let's look for something a little better than just Lava Coil. All right, what card did they take? Do have the mana to flip Bolas next turn. Please don't go grab a removal spell. I don't have anything to find broker, do I? I mean, land, but anything realistic. If I block here, they get to uh, folly back the Playcrafter and cast Playcrafter again. What? Night Owl! Hey, have a good night, friends. Thanks, Night Owl. Cheers. Beast, when I can be a god. So the problem is they get to kill my nickel bolus. They get to have play crafter attack and kill bolus. Yeah, I just I just don't have a better option. Or I guess I can get Knight of Autumn. I was thinking just getting Vivian, <clears throat> getting Vivian to kill Helm of the Host. I guess I could just get Knight of Autumn. No, that's not as good. Because if I if I get Knight of Autumn, then they have Playcrafter attack Bolus. I block with Knight of Autumn. They re get Playcrafter and make me sack Bolus. So that's not as good for me. The dead shall serve me. Vivian's is not that good in my deck, considering I only have four total Sometimes creatures and one of them on the battlefield right now. Retribution. So Fine Broker gets back home. Yeah, either way I lose Bolas. Like I don't really have an, an option of not losing Bolas, but I guess if I would have got the Knight of Autumn though, they don't get to go get Fine Broker and Helm back though. Ah, a cheap victory. Man, I should have just got Knight of Autumn. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, I feel like I should have got Knight of Autumn. Right, that's the point. Is Knight of Autumn blocks Blade Crafter, and then they get Blade Crafter back. Oh, that's a that's a killer. I needed that thing. I always survive. You'll see. All right, should have got Knight of Autumn. But I guess they had to mortify. They had to mortify to kill Autumn. Hmm. All right. So what are we doing different? Getting this rally in here. Yeah, I think that's it.
I don't think I really need a uh, duress or negate. <clears throat> Ritual of so would be like I guess the card I could take out if I'm playing those. Do not want the third ritual, so that was a really bad draw. That was worst draw we could have was third ritual there. Wow, ditching a mortify. Campaign was pretty good there. Draw a card plus make them discard two mortifies. One for one removal spells, ritual of set. I beasts are much more reliable than humans. Ha! I've seen worse. <laughs> Oh, Divination, Jade Light was not what I wanted to see. Did not want to see Divination, Jade Light. Keeping this land in hand in case my opponent plays the Playcrafter to make me discard. Uh, yeah, so I used Bedevil instead of Contempt on the Vraska um, because I wanted to be able to have contempt for some kind of creatures they could recur. I guess I should have probably just flipped Ascanta because Vivian's gonna kill it. Right. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? I'll be back, just like before. Okay. okay. Yeah, I should have just flipped Ascanta there. Got rid of the coil. So wait until my turn to draw a card with Archer Veraska, which is smart. So wait until my end step. Never seen water burn. No fire. No. Skin. Honestly, don't really like where we're at. Them having Archer Veraska, I don't think we're in a good spot. Like I messed up. I messed up with the Escanta. Like it could certainly cost us this. Good for Ooh, us. Come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Just humble the host now. They get to just no attach that fire, next turn. No steel. So this is at the beginning of combat on your turn. So if I if I steal the creature with Angrath, I don't get to make a copy. I don't get to like I don't control the helm of the host. Wow. 
They must have just bricked on those three draws. They must have bricked hard on those three draws there. Wow. Basically any creature, they get to play the creature and, it, and it equip because they have so much mana. I know, right? Our opponent really did try. Poor opponent. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one, Go Vegan. This is a good one. All right, we'll keep this. Eldritch Reborn's okay. It's like there are situations where Eldritch Reborn is amazing, of course. There's other ones where it's not so good. I haven't really found myself, you know, missing it kind of thing. I don't, I don't think it's better than Angrath or Rao. I think that just not having a whole lot of five drops in the deck is uh, part of the reason why the deck does well. Uh, Carnage Tyrant is, is definitely a problem. As far as Carnage Tyrant goes, I, I would rather have um, Star of Extinction in the sideboard to deal with Carnage Tyrant than Eldest Reborn. It's a lot more reliable. The Dex Kryptonite is um, hmm. I guess I'll keep a second bolus just in case something happens to the first. <clears throat> Why play? All right. Uh, oh, you had one guy playing four Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, last last format Carnage Tyrant was a lot bigger deal, and so I, you can play instead of Archer of Roscoe, you can play Detection Tower for your Colorless Land to help you out with Carnage Tyrant, and then and then yeah, I had to. Uh, you can take out like the fourth Negate. Oh, that's a great card. You can take out the fourth negate and the Ralph from the sideboard and just play two Star of Extinctions. That helps you out there. Mono Blue is a very good matchup for us. That's one I hardly ever lose. That's like that's that's a match I actively want to face a lot with this deck. We just have so much removal in the sideboard when we have all the duresses and negates also. It makes it hard for them to protect. And... So I don't think I use Ritual of Soot yet. I don't think, don't think I need to be very hasty in that regard. Mono Red is tough, yes. Mono, mono Red's a, a bad matchup. There's another question that I thought I was going to answer, but I forgot. I feel like I was getting towards answering some other question that I moved away from. We gotta stay alive for four more turns to get this bolus. How does bullets do its thing? Uh, Prospector is really nice with Frenzy. That that Frenzy draw was awesome. Oh right, the the Dex Kryptonite is. What's the, I'm trying to think of the card name. We played against it like yesterday. Or like the last time we played this. The only enchantment that I really struggle against is Guild Summit. There's a four mana, it's a four mana green creature that's hexproof and pro black. It's that horse thing. We can't beat that horse. 
Vine Mare. There you go. Thanks, Burrito. Vine Mare is a card we can't beat. Uh, I, I have nothing for Vine Mare right now. We played against... Last time we went 5-1, we played against some random deck with a bunch of Vine Mares. And it was just like... Sure. You got me. Alright, so I'm not flipping... Oh, also Thought Razor instead of Ascanta. Because we had Ritual of Set in hand, there wasn't anything that my opponent could play on their turn two that I was really scared of, which is why I didn't Thought Erasure, and so I just got the Escanta down to start making my draw steps as, as good as possible. <clears throat> two more turns. Here I'm not flipping Escanta, uh, so we get to look at the top card again. Because if I flip it, I'm not doing anything with it, so we're just missing that, missing out on that. Wow. Flame of Keld is awesome here. Alright, so... Really need to find Ritual Set. Set, set, set. No, not set. So we get that extra look there. Alright, I guess they don't get the third chapter before I would kill them. And drawing cards with a Frenzy out doesn't really do anything. Of course, they can blow up Frenzy. That doesn't help them. Can this Bolus take it down? Barely got there. We are going much lower than a four life the next turn. Yeah, I could have transformed there, but I I did not want to transform. We wanted to keep attacking our opponent. So yeah, we didn't want to transform. <laughs> 2x cry confirmed. That, that is true. Let's get these cry the carnariums up in there. Uh, this is going to be a tough, kind of tough, like, we're going to really rely on, on Cry and Soot. Um, yeah, we're relying on those cards. Like, Campaign and Discovery are slow. We're going to have all these negates in to counter some things. And I guess another Duress. And I think I'm going with this. I don't love like all these like Contempt and Bedevil, they're kind of expensive. Angrath isn't as good here as it normally is. I kinda need to keep Angrath though just to have like win cons. You know, like you can't just tick up and make them lose two life and make them start attacking my Angrath while I draw something else. Xavier, sub number twenty on the day, another great month of streaming. So Savers that sub for the ninth month in a row. Are you excited for the next set? Absolutely. Get my legendary sorceries going with all the those awesome planeswalkers. Well, hopefully they, they could be a bunch of crappy planeswalkers, but I just want to play the legendary sorceries. So time to get some packs after this. Hmm. This looks like a good hand to mulligan. We do have like our most we do have our most important card. Nicobolus. We don't have any of our other most important cards. Cry of the Carnarium Ritual set. Think we're going down to five? I guess I'll just try this. Five is tough, but this hand's tough also. Sweet, number one magic streamer right now. Awesome, thanks everybody for watching. I love y'all, y'all are awesome. Oh no. We got to make them discard that card last time. The Cavalcade of Calamity. 
Um, I'm kind of dead. Hmm. I guess keep this and hope the card after it is a land. Or I ditch it and try to find Sweeper slash land for Angrath. Yeah, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Gustav. Alright, so I'm leaving them with the Cavalcade of Calamity. Calamity? Because I want them to cast that this turn. If I leave them with the Flame of Keld, maybe they don't. But I wanted to be able to slam that negate down here. Unfortunately, this would have been a great, great time to have Nicol Bolas. We did, we did end up having a land the very next turn. Nicol Bolas would have been awesome here. Make them discard that Siege Game Commander and everything, so... Dang, and they, they drew their lands to get to the Siege Gang. Alright, so we need Soot or Cry. Preferably, preferably Cry. Did not get there. That was not a very good hand. I don't want to play all these Negates and Duresses, but these other cards just aren't very good. Like, maybe I just play a couple campaigns? Or I guess discoveries. I can just play some discoveries. Yeah, we can play discovery. That'll help us find cry and sits and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Still got Angrath. Yeah, I mean, Angrath's not very good. We have a lot of cards that are not very good. We can't cut everything. There are scenarios where Angrath helps us win. All right, thanks, JRC. Have a good night. And yeah, thanks. For check out the rest of the videos up on YouTube later. We've crossed over 1,900 YouTube followers there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. So we're under 100 left before getting to that YouTube subs goal and having, uh, ow, and having another 12-hour stream to celebrate that. So it's not a land, but it should help us hit a land here. Like, we should have a land out of one of these next three cards, right? Right? Right deck? Yeah. Bad news is I don't get to keep Negate up here if they have, like, Cavalcade of Calamity or anything like that. Which is a tilt. No lands in this deck. Our 26 land deck. Yeah, we've been a little unlucky with our mulligans here the last two games. Guess I should have shocked to keep Negate up. It's a tough call. Either just a shock and they just, you know, play something into it or not. Looks like we're going to be two and one.
Might as well shock now. Um, basically dead to any attacks anyway. So we have to find exactly Cry of the Carnarium. Okay, we're still in it. <laughs> Looks like your opponent's playing a first-person shooter. Uh, they had a firebrand. All right, we're dead. All right, two and one. We really need that sweeper on turn four, but we couldn't get our fourth land drop. Even with having Escanta on two and Discovery on three, we still couldn't find a fourth land. We're on the draw. Just be nice and respectful, T Paz. You're good. Keeping this hand because of ritual of sets. Like the, keeping these hands because of ritual of sets. Like we're gonna be really slow. Right, and if we're if we're going to be really slow, we're going to need like if they're going to put a bunch of creatures on the battlefield, we're going to need to catch up, and that's what ritual of sick, ritual of sick can do. Unfortunately, this looks like this is Simic Nexus, which our two ritual sets are dead cards. Insight Nexus. Take the Insight. Yeah, Hawkeye is like yellowish orange. Maybe they'll blink my campaign for me. I didn't do that. Oh, I should s probably slam Angrath here. I wanted to go Thought Erasure plus campaign. So I did that. Uh, these are all tap lands. But maybe I should have slammed the Angrath. Alright, so we know they don't have a counter spell. So that's clutch. Levity! With the Twitch Prime sub. Oh, I was supposed to get get a. You're how the last game ended up, I was supposed to go buy a pack. You'll help remind me after this one. We've got to our, our next pack goal last time with the 20 subs. Uh, sub for Hawkeye. No fire, no steel. Good job, Hawkeye. Way to go, bud. <laughs> I 
Our next, our next, Nexus opponent does not like all of our discard spells. Does not like campaign and Grath, all that kind of stuff. That was gonna be tough for our, our opponent to win both of those sideboard games for sure. All right, let's crack a pack. Let's see. So M19 and Ixalan are the two sets that I still need cards from. In fact, let's get both. Let's get two packs. All right, we'll start with Corset 2019. The rest of the sets I already have all the rares, so these are the these are my last two to open up. Ooh, rare wild card. That's a nice one. Nice. And what, what do we got from Ixalan? Angrath's Marauders. Well-timed card. Just played the Angrath. Opponent conceded the entire match. Angrath's Marauders. Well-timed. Uh, I got 44 rares and 19 Mythics right now. Waiting for that next set. <laughs> Angrath Tribal. All right, we're three and one. All right, and since we have more people in here, I want to talk about take just take a minute here to tell y'all about Harry's Razors. I uh, have a, a really big deal right here with Harry's. Uh, you know, we need nine more people to sign up for a 12-hour stream with, with Harry's. But you can get their starter set, which is their really nice razor and uh, thing of shaving cream for only $3 free shipping uh, to the U.S., Canada, U.K. It's just 3 bucks. Very, very, very cheap. So how it works, uh, usually it's $13 to try out their nice razor and, and shaving cream. If you sign up for their subscription, you get $5 off, and the subscription is uh, cancelable anytime. So if you choose to cancel it before, it uh, sends you a new one. You know, you can. Let's see, I'm going to take the binding. We have soot for this other stuff. I'll take another soot just in case. And then if you go through my referral link that I just put in the chat, uh, it's also down below that you can see, and use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG, you get another $5 off. So you can get their starter sent, uh, sent to you, their starter set sent to you with free shipping for only three bucks. So definitely check that out. And so, you know, that. So if you want to help support me as a streamer, you know, like that, that's something that's real easy to do and get yourself a good razor. Um, really good value there. And then as extra incentive for placing an order through Harry's, uh, if you're somebody who likes donation decks and if you, if you want, had like a deck that you want me to play on stream, Usually a donation deck is $20. If you go get that $3 razor set, uh, then you can also get a donation deck for half off and only spend $10 on that. So altogether, instead of a $20 donation deck, you can get one for $13. You go place an order through Harry's and um, yeah, Zerf, you're good. And then it's just half off donation after that. Templar says the subscription is awesome. I got it for my husband. Graveyard. If they ask questions about your shaving habits so they don't send you more razors and such than you actually need. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. You get to you get to pick um, you know, how many razors you want sent to you. Like, you know, like how often you want them. It's really nice like that. So, it is an awkward time for Bolas, how we know that there's the Lava Coil in their hands. But I, with how this has Kant is going, I'm, I'm fine with just taking their last two cards from their hand with Bolas here. Oh, wow, they discarded the Coil. May have just had another Coil. Oh, thanks, BRZ. Banefire. That's a sweet one. All 
All right, good. Keep that on top because RS Kant is going to flip either way. I'll just take this thing. Dispersal could be useful against Ixalan's Binding, which we have seen. Alright, we may take Thought Erasure. Take this thing. Sky Terror. Basically just looking for a win con. These will do. I'll just play more campaigns, draw more cards. So we're down to 33 cards, but we know the bottom uh, four, eight, nine, the bottom nine, none of those are Angrath, Ral. There we go. Or we don't have any Rals in the main, but so we're looking for our three Angraths and three uh, Boluses that are left. Is my chat still connected? I haven't seen anybody say anything for a little bit. Ever seen water burn? Okay, yeah. You will. So. The problem with minus seeing is that we're forever away from <laughs> ultimating. <laughs> Now, and if our opponent draws like a Legion War boss, they got to, they get to kill the Angrath, and that'd be a feel bad. <laughs> no fire, no steel. Well, I didn't want to pick up, or I didn't want to tap the Ascanta, but. Oh well. So just looking for nickel boluses. We got three more somewhere in the next 17 cards. Three of the next 17 are nickel bolus. We'll find one somewhere. Not yet then. Not yet though. And so that's why I went with Arch of Araska instead of Azkanta. I felt like it would be easier to find bolus. No fire. No steel. The opponent does not want to pick him up. Think that the, I guess they think they have a chance still. Hey, Millennium God, always want to try the movement watches. Let's go. Let's just go new Angrath. Darkwell, getting that supporting here through <laughs> no Harry's, fire, getting that Harry starter no set. Steel. Get some hype for Darkwell. Thank you so much, Darkwell. And so, yeah, if um, anytime you ever want Darkwell, you can always get a donation deck for just $10. You don't need to, but if that's ever anything that you feel like, uh, you know, no expiration date, just let me know anytime, and you'll be good to go there. No fire, no steel. Alright, just gonna gain some life here. So yeah, the the movement watches are, are pretty nice. So what's what I like about them is they they aren't they aren't very big, um, kind of thing. Like you see like some like nice watches like the like are like you know really big handle and everything. It's a minimalistic style is what they have. Um I do like the leather, at least the at least this watch that I have. It's it's pretty smooth and it does fit my wrist really really well. I have a very small wrist and it fits very well. This is the blue and brown uh, watch. It retails on for 110 there. Um, 
on the site, but you get 15% off using my link and coupon code TOTSDEMONSMTG there. All right, so moment and a couple cry coming in and trim a couple campaign. And call it a day. I'm just gonna play another Ral over a campaign also. Yeah, you're welcome, Millennium God. I think you'll like it. It is comfortable. I've had, like, you know, fancy watches like this that have had, that have, like, kind of scratched my arm up. And this one doesn't. It's comfortable to wear. What do you think, Hawkeye? Yeah, they could certainly have Frenzy. Um, not much for me to do about that except for Dispersal. Or just try to take it with Thought Erasure. But yeah, they did have Banefire, that's true. Got to be a little worried about Banefire. Alright, so Bounty Agent gets to... Bounty Agent gets to destroy legendary permanents that are artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. So not... Ugh, I don't want to see that. Not Planeswalkers, but it could destroy my Nicol Bolas or my Search for Ascanta. Alright, gonna use Bedevil. Gonna use my mana better. I guess maybe I should've just gone Tap Land Coil. I was hoping to be able to have them just have the one card in hand that I make them discard with Bolas. And, you know, have their last card be that binding. Shyla, get an equipped toothbrush. That is a very, very nice toothbrush. Yeah, I'm not sure what our opponent's doing too much with the Bane Fire for two. Alright, let's get this thing out here while I can. Get that binding out of there. So Shyla's for for ordering the, the equipped toothbrush, you do you get a donation deck for absolutely free. So if you ever have a deck that you'd like to see on stream. Um just let me know. That's that's also something you get a free donation deck for ordering that awesome toothbrush. So I'm down to seven. But I'll go back up to nine next turn with this contempt. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Crypt. Yeah, there's the there's the playlist. Rowl, keeping that hype going with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Rowl. I understand you are in need of support. Alright, we're not in a bad spot here for a Johnny, because I can just get to steal their I get to steal their creature and have these two both attack a Johnny and get that out of here. Here be your crew for my freedom. <laughs> a fair price. I am sorry. I must go. Um, should I keep dispersal available? I just keep dispersal. We don't really need a discovery for anything right now. They could have had like an Ixalan's binding that I want to dispersal, kind of thing. No fire, no steel. Uh, 
Let's draw some more cards. I always have an answer. Cards are good. Yeah, last turn they just had like more things on the battlefield. I didn't want to transform the bolus, but now we're doing that. Uh oh. I know what must be done. No fire, no steel. Hmm. I kind of regret playing that discovery. Well, they can't deal five to me. Anyway. I was going to say, maybe I should have just played Bolas and made sure to have Contempt available. They can't deal five to me anyway. Yeah, I'll take lands. Lands are good. Because they... Not to be worried about a bane fire for five right now. My knowledge is endless. No fire, no steel. So we're going to kill our opponent a lot of different ways next turn. We don't get to see this very often. I am immortal. Sweet. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Need to take my nickel balls and give it haste. <clears throat> yep, so there you go. Got you all that bolus ultimate. We don't get to do that very often. I guess I could have looked through their whole deck and everything, but... Oh, well. Should have targeted myself. <laughs> All right, 4-1. So here we go. We are facing the final boss. Are we going to win our fifth match, or are we picking up our second loss? We don't know. Let's move on to our final boss playlist. Here we go. Got to get in the zone. I have not played the popper event. Not really planning on playing that. If it was like if it had like cool prizes like the promo cards and stuff, I'd be into it, but All right, can we get the five dreams? Hopefully we get to dodge the random vine mare deck that's out there. Mulligan. If that was a, a shock land, I'd be keeping it, but it's a, another tap land. No, not mono red. Please, not mono red. Please, not mono red. No, be Drake's. No. Okay, kill that. This is one of our toughest matchups, and this is not a very good hand for it. Here, you wanna you wanna fight the pen? You don't have to bite me. need to find Bolas. 
not lands. We're gonna be running out of lands pretty soon. Sweet Tooth was the wicked final boss in Twisted Metal. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, not necessarily. You're not always paired against people with the exact same record. They try to pair you with people with similar records, but it also uh, pairs quickly, too. It doesn't sit around and wait for somebody else with four wins. You know, like, it won't... Uh, so it won't necessarily take, like, a long time to pair. All right, so if they have a land, we're down to 11. Come here, boy. They're down to 11. Ooh. Bolus. We got to eat a wizard's lightning? That's a good card to eat. Let's take these last cards. Alright, we're at nine. We need to find another bolus. Kanta does not find Bolas, unfortunately, but I think it's still better to activate it here than Discovery. Dang, I was hoping they were... No! No! Oh, that's the worst possible thing ever. Oh, that was the worst. Oof. Oof is right. The next turn, my plan was to discovery and have the four mana for either Ascanta or Abolus. Yeah, you can have the cards. I can take those cards. Uh, maybe I can't. Hey, last bolus. We found it. And we're very dead, though. We need them to draw five lands in a row. Because any spell and I'm dead. I also kind of need to hit a, a removal spell here. I don't really want to dispersal the firebrand. I don't know, maybe I just do. The safest. Let's do let's just do this.
The Bedevil gives me an instant speed answer to a haste creature. To, like, if they have, like, the... They find another Lava Runner, but I need them to draw a lot of lands in a row. Alright, that's one land. We need them to draw three more lands in a row. That's another one. I can kill them next turn actually. If they just draw one more land. I don't have instant I don't have instant speed removal, so I'm dead to lava runner now. You're no fire. But I can kill them next no turn. Steel. So just gotta draw one more one more draw step. Just a land. One more one more draw step. That's it. Boom! We could do it. Was that four lands in a row? Or was it three? I guess it it was three. It was firebrand plus three lands. See, and y'all are saying the mono red's a bad matchup. <laughs> ah, now you come back. All right, let's try it again. Campaign discovery out, negate duress in. Yeah, we have one craving. <laughs> I do not have a, a big sideboard for this this matchup. This is not a matchup that I'm trying to win too much. I don't really want to shock. Like, Shock Duress doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Ow. Yeah, they have light up the stage. It's like the one thing that I may want to take with a Duress there. Yeah, we could play Cry. I've just had too many times where they've had like a bigger Steamkin and um, Chain Whirler and my Cry is not killing anything. I feel like the Ritual of Sets do enough. Well then. I guess shocking for duress does save me one life. Because, like, next turn they just go double pyromancer, I go ritual of such, then they would have the lightning the following turn. So I'm going to go down to eight. Then they're out of cards. Well, they still have this top attack card. Yeah, this is Lord of the Rings music. Part of our final boss playlist. Alright, Bolus, where are you at? Where are you at, Bolus?
Yeah, that was unfortunate. We had to keep shocking ourselves for sure. Even here, I could sit plus as Kanta. I guess I'm just going to ask Kanta and have Negate available and sit next turn. Hope my opponent draws another runaway Steamkin for land. Steamkin. I'd like them to draw Steamkin here. Bolas told me. Woo! They discard a lightning strike? What is going on? Hijack, huh? Nah. Light up. Need to find some negates. Need more negates. Ugh. One. Couldn't find another negate in those eight cards there. We had two Ascanta flips. Well. Okay. Not dead yet. to not deal 10 damage to players. I mean, if they hit nothing, I, I can win next turn if they hit nothing, and I guess I just have to have them hit nothing. I, I'm trying to think if there's any way I can get this Frenzy off the battlefield, but there's just really not. So I need them to hit two, two lands. Like we have lethal next turn as if they hit two lands. Never seen water I don't. Your crew from I don't think that there's freedom. any other A fair price. option. They have to have two lands here, and I guess that has to be a land because otherwise they would just hit the frenzy. So basically, how we could kill our opponent next turn is because we can attack with Bolas to deal four. Angrath can deal two. We can activate Bolas, flip it, and go get the. A pyromancer to deal another two. All right, I, I boarded out the dispersals, even. So I'm just stone cold to frenzy. Probably shouldn't be stone cold to frenzy. I mean, I guess I got all these discard and. Counter spells. I 
I'm going to take out a search and a bedevil for two discoveries, just to have the dispersals. Yeah, I, I mean, I have negates. I do have, like, the four negates in my deck that can counter a frenzy as a top deck, because that is their... That is their best case scenario. Gosh, this is not not great. They got the hijack again. Which is not that's not a card that I mind them having. Because you know we can get to the point like where that's like their last card that we have them discard a bolus or whatever. Wow, another light up? That was their draw. Boo. Um, oh, Devil kills this chain whirler. Because I'm just kind of not doing anything with this. Thought Erasure. So good news is we're still at 17 and we don't really have a whole lot in there. And never mind. Never mind. <sighs> Just don't have land drops. Come on, Bolas. Where you at? There you are. Found you. I think it's possible our opponent had another frenzy here. I don't know, they, they didn't play a land, they didn't play anything. Don't know exactly what they had. This whole frenzy thing makes this matchup a whole lot harder than it, than it was before. Because even before, the matchup wasn't necessarily good for us, but a lot of people have been stopped playing frenzies recently. Uh, but then uh, they'd stop playing frenzies, but now recently they're playing frenzies again. Now this is frenzies is just the nightmare card for us. Because without frenzy, I think we can win this game. Like I think we can, we could have beat like their draws if it wasn't frenzy. If that frenzy was just you know like a lightning strike or whatever. Yeah, frenzy coming back is a big problem for us.
You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. Yeah, Shockland's rough. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. I have to put a I have to try to put a clock on him, because you know, like we can't just sit back and beat frenzy over time. Yeah, I mean I have dispersals to get rid of enchantments. It's not it's not a whole lot. Ah, I'll have you in chains next time. Why don't they just attack? Just didn't want to attack? They have had really bad frenzies. They have not been doing much, which is awesome. I wish I could have taken Firebrand and had the Firebrand shoot the other one, but just can't. Here be monsters. No fire, no steel. Another bad turn for Frenzy? More bad Frenzies? Alright, they are dumping Frenzy. I think they drew another Frenzy. I think like one of those turns, how it looked, how they didn't play lands or anything. I think they have another Frenzy in hand, honestly. Oh, negate is nice. No fire, no steel. Blows temper the blade, swine. Your crew for my freedom? A fair price. Angrath's just so good against everybody. Angrath's great. Alright, we need two more tick ups. Alright, I will take that. We will go down to nine. So they did not have another frenzy. They had a risk factor, though. Please don't kill my Angrath. Don't draw a creature that kills it. No! No! I was so close. Ram a new course free. Woo! Still alive. The Undying Planeswalker. Is that going to get us Ever our five seen wins? Water burn? You will. No fire. No steel. Is that going to get us our five wins? Negate. No fire. No fire. No steel. No steel. That's a five win. GG's. Rocky theme right on time. That was a really nice final boss fight. That was a great match. So close. All of the all three games were just nail biters. Uh, you know, all the games were really, really close and everything. That was awesome. Very, very lucky to win that. Yes, we were very fortunate. Their their uh, their frenzy was not very good. Um, I feel like our opponent just like didn't cast. I guess they didn't cast their risk factors like off the frenzy and stuff. I feel like our opponent could have done more. That last, especially that last game. I don't think we should have won that game. But we did there. Um, now, Hawkeye's down here on the ground. Here, Hawkeye. Come here. Yeah, come here. 
Or you're just not. Come here. Come on. Ugh. He was rubbing his head against my shoes. Yeah, we got there, Hawkeye. GG. Yeah, and the fire. Yeah, the fire. The opponent sacking that firebrand. There we go. Thanks, Kiko. All right, so that was Grixis discard. If you're watching this video later on, there we go. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over on YouTube. We are under a hundred uh, people now, hundred under a hundred followers now on YouTube to get to that two thousand follower goal. If you ever miss any of the the matches or anything, if you want to. Um, see any of the replays check out the youtube channel there for that so there 